In my previous video, I discussed the task of 100% completing Red Dead Redemption 2. Following on from that, in this video, I'll share my thoughts on the things you should consider doing early on in the game. The tips in this video will give you the best start on your road to 100% that can be useful even if you're just playing casually. The first thing you want to do early on is head north to Lake Isabella. Here you'll find the White Arabian Horse. This is one of the best horses in the game so it's really important that you tame this early on making exploring the world much easier. You may also want to consider purchasing Horse Reviver as soon as possible because this horse only spawns once per game. Now that you have a nice horse, it's a good idea to level up your health, stamina and dead eye cores for an early game boost. To increase the health core you need to get your hands on some ginseng elixir which will give you an additional 25% XP boost towards the next level. These can be found in various places across the map. The first being west of Valentine on a small island located in Dakota River. The second can be found at an abandoned campsite in the heartlands. And the final elixir can be found north of the heartlands in a wagon at this crossroad. For stamina, you'll need to find some aged pirate rum. The first being found on the top of this cliff at Twin Stack Pass. And the second can be found east of Flatneck Station at this house by the lake. Now for Deadeye you'll need to find some Valerian root, the first of which can be found at an abandoned campsite on top of Caliban Sea. The second can be found at the old town of Limpany in the saloon. And while you're here, it's also a good idea to collect a gold bar from the sheriff's office that can be sold for $500, giving you an early cash boost. I only showed a few locations for these near the Chapter 2 camp. You'll most likely pass them during story missions, so they're quite easy to get if you want a boost early on. There are plenty of videos showing you all the locations, but I find spending over an hour levelling up cores is probably not the best idea, especially if you just started the game. If you're not bothered about levelling up your cores early on, you can quite easily skip this step, it isn't that important. Now you should aim to craft the Buck Antler Trinket. This can be done by killing the legendary Buck located northwest of Strawberry, and then crafting the trinket at one of the fences. Now if you're in chapter 2, you may need to do a few missions to unlock the fence, but you should be able to do it very early on. The Bug Ankler Trinket gives you a higher chance of collecting perfect pelts from animals, which will be very useful in the next tip I give you. Now the final thing to do would be to craft the Legend of the East Satchel. This allows you to expand your inventory so you can pretty much hold an unlimited amount of supplies. This comes in very handy, especially when collecting plants and items for crafting. 
Now to craft this satchel, you have to craft all the other satchels first, which require a lot of perfect pelts. You can see now that the buck antler trinket makes this so much easier to do. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope it helped you get a head start on your Red Dead Redemption 2 save. If you do have any questions or comments, please do post them below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and I will see you all in the next one.